Hello everyone. We recently launched an AWS WAF feature that enhances rate-based rules to support request headers and composite keys. In today's video, I'll show you how this works. Let's get started. First, let's quickly go over the purpose of this new feature. Previously, AWS WAF rate-based rules used to only support rate limiting with IP addressing. As attackers have become more sophisticated, they are increasingly using techniques to bypass IP-based rate limiting defenses such as using multiple IP addresses or distributing attacks across a large number of devices. AWS WAF now supports request parameters, also known as keys, which include request headers such as a cookie, query strings or query arguments, label namespaces, and HTTP methods. With this new feature, we can now also use various other aggregation keys and key combinations to create even more fine-tuned rate-based roles, which provide more granular options for managing and securing web application traffic. With these capabilities, customers can better identify and block malicious traffic patterns while minimizing the impact on legitimate users. At this time, we can create composite keys based on up to five request parameters. By combining multiple request parameters into a single composite key, customers can detect and mitigate potential threats of higher accuracy. Customers can further refine rate-based rules by using WAF match conditions, allowing customers to limit the scope of inspection to specific URLs of their website or to traffic coming from specific referrers. Today, I'll demo an example where we aggregate requests by combining IP addresses based on their HTTP method or specific URI path. Now let's navigate over to the AWS console. Let's first go to the AWS WAF and Shield service. Now I've already created an AWS WAF web ACL in the US East 1 region, so we won't go over how to create that in this video. We will assume that we already have WAF associated with our resource here and just want to add a new rate-based rule. Now I'll select my web ACL called Example Web ACL. Next, click on the Rules tab. Click Add Rules and select Add My Own Rules and Rule Groups. First, let's create a new rule called HTTP method for login, where we'll point this to our login page. Next, select rate based rule. In this field here, you can enter a rate limit based on your application needs. For this example, we will go with the lowest number, which is 100 requests within 5 minutes. Now select the radio button for custom keys, and we'll now create our aggregation keys. For the first aggregation key, let's create one for the HTTP method. For the second aggregation key, we will select the source IP address. This way, we will track the requests on a per HTTP method basis associated with the source IP. Next, select only consider requests that match the criteria in a rule statement so we can add the URI path. In this example, we'll create a scope down statement for the rule to only match for the URI path if it contains the string login. To test this rule first, we can switch the action from block to count instead so no legitimate traffic is blocked, and we can look into WAF logs and sample the requests to see which requests are triggering the rate-based rule. Do keep in mind that when a rate-based rule evaluates web requests using your aggregation criteria, each unique set of values that the rule finds for the specified aggregation keys defines a unique aggregation instance. You can have an instance for multiple keys, a single key, or you can count everything with no key. Click Add Rule when you're ready, and then hit Save to finish. Now to wrap this all up, we have created a rate-based rule that will trigger whenever an IP address sends over 100 requests to the login page if it uses the same HTTP method. We can later switch it from count to either block, capture, or challenge once we have finished testing it and it is ready to go to protect the application. And that's it. Thanks for watching and please feel free to check out the links in the description to learn more about this new AWS WAF feature below.